The following presentation is rated Web G for general audiences. Previously on Welcome to the Family. If it wasn't removed very soon, it would rupture. To slice them across the abdomen on the bottom. That's my one fear. He stole my sponsor. I will steal his monster. Small ones to fuzzy ones to creepy ones. He lied. I almost had a heart attack. Anyone can entertain you, but only we entertain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Are you ready? Welcome to the family. So today we're headed to the Florida Renaissance Festival. It all changes once you walk in through those gates. You're like in a whole different place. Trying out some hats. Some people aren't quite clear what the Renaissance era was. So basically, it was from the 14th century to the 17th century and all that stuff in between. We try to celebrate the history, specifically the history of Spain here in Florida. It makes it here a little, a little myth. And it's an Italian culture movement that actually spread to the rest of Europe in the 1600s. Le Renaissance means rebirth in French. And it affected literature, art, architecture, just about everything. Basically, it was a renewal of everybody's interest right after the Dark Ages. I'm King Ferdinand, uh, and though he is a historical character, I, I play him in a different way. He's a fun-loving guy who loves his family and loves everyone who comes here. Uh, the premise of the story here is that we're here on vacation. So this is when uh, Ferdinand and Isabella let their hair down, and it's like, woo! The atmosphere is wonderful. I've seen some amazing costumes. I've seen two samurais. This guy was stuck right out of a metallic album. Seriously. We just grew tired of walking inside the ride. A lot of beards. In fact, I'm letting mine grow because everyone had long beards. I am captain of the South Florida Pirates. I like how you can't really tell who works here because everyone is in the spirit of um, It's my favorite time of the year because I always get to dress up as my true form which is an elf fairy thing. Not only were they dressed up, it was like they were really into character. I am the Empress Bianca von Habsburg. I believe me. And this is my god, Herr Wilhelm. May I give you a gilda? This is the money for my country. Don't spend it all in one place. One thing we try to do is we try to be immersive. I mean, it's not like we're like, oh, look, it's the king and I can't get close to him. No, no, come up, shake my hand, say hello. The princess, the queen, my, my captain of the guards, all my guards. Everyone is here and you, you, could, you could immerse yourself in this experience. Have a wonderful time today at the festival. It's very family oriented. So if you have small children, there's tons of rides. They have everything from archery to dueling knights and testing your strength. Little rides like the Hurlinator and even some fencing. And if you're brave enough, they had a zip line. It's a great weekend for the family. Whatever you are into, you're gonna find it here. Watching the children playing around, even the adults, everything had no electricity. You didn't need today's technology to really enjoy it. This is a medieval battlefield. It reenacts the storming of a castle. And what we have here is a ballista or a really, really big crossbow. In theory, this is on fire, and every time we shoot one of these, it weakens one of the walls of the castle, okay? Pull that lever when you're ready, huh? Like that, see? Fire away. Wow, yeah, natural. Girls are the best shot. <laughs> It was a lot of fun. So just like everything else in the festival, the music reflected that of that time period. And back then, music was an essential part of civic, religious, and courtly life. You get exposed to live music. Come on in, you're just in time, folks. I know everyone has the overwhelming urge to stand in the back in case the show sucks. And there's so many individual people around the entire festival that have their own really cool instruments, like ukuleles and harps and drums. The entire place is a festival. Food from all over the world. There's ceviche, there's gypsy food, there's the best ales around. This is something for the whole family. So we're walking and all of a sudden we come to this booth and they have all these hawks and owls and just all these pheasants. I mean, just gorgeous creatures. But something was really disturbing. Some of them had like this leather binding thing covering their eyes. 
And I just thought, is that animal cruelty? It's just to keep them relaxed. But when they're up here on the perch, they're afraid of you. So by you taking pictures and, you know, they're staring at them, they get nervous. So this way, Casper feels very safe. Plus he hears me. So this was my first year going to this Renaissance Festival and it was definitely an experience. Hey you! Get it! Work for it! We make catapults. These ones are based off of the basic torsion principle with the ropes. What it does when you adjust the dowel rods on the side, it makes the ropes tighter so that it shoots further. There were all these different shops. There was leather shops, there was henna shops, there was glass shops. It was so neat to see all of these people actually creating these items the way they were back then. Welcome to the drop hammer. I'll squish it if you wish it. <laughs> All throughout the festival, there were historical demonstrations of all kinds. Striking dog, striking cat. This hammer weighs about 150 pounds. Hammer going up. Hammer coming down. Striking. Like the wind blows through a willow tree, you hear it cry. Like the willow tree will cry. This is a willow tree? Yeah, but it's just scrunched up. See? And it's taller. So you want Hannah? I do. Oh, look! Your grandpa. That must have taken a while to make. Hell No, but it just looks like a bunch of like... That's the hair right here. Yeah. Is it a Hannah, your grandfather? <laughs> Hannah's all natural. It's a plant that grows in the Middle East. That plant is dried and ground into a powder, and the powder is mixed with lemon juice and eucalyptus oil. That makes a paste. Paste is painted on your skin. When the paste dries, it comes off, at least behind the stain. Both of these gentlemen, Aaron and Crow, both went to art school. They've both been doing henna professionally for 10 years. So just be really careful that you don't bump it on anything. Okay. As soon as it dries, stay 15 minutes now since the sun's gone down. Uh, then we'll spray it for you with some lemon juice and glycerin. I love being creative and being an artist. The Renaissance Festival really is a place for the entire family. It's really cool. I like it a lot. I love it. Freaking amazing. It's awesome. Oh, we love it. We come every, we get season passes. Right now we're listening to the music in the background from everybody just having a street festival and having all kinds of different music and enjoying themselves dancing. go home but there's more there's fireworks coming up soon in a little bit to end the day with a bang oh they might be starting right now <laughs> come down to the Florida Renaissance Festival. We're here at Quiet Waters Park in Deerfield Beach and enjoy the time of your lives and share a moment of myth and history. Come on by to the Ren Fair. See you at the Renaissance Festival. Hi guys, this is Alexa from Welcome to the Family. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Oh yeah, and share with your friends and family.